Dance was our family religion. When my grandmother Ragini Devi did something grandmotherly, like take me to the circus, she would embarrass me by demonstrating Bharatanatyam adhus along the sidewalk. My architect father complained that his dance career was overshadowed by my mother's, and my Indian grandfather, Ragini's estranged husband, would write to me regularly from New York, urging me not to become a dancer. This family obsession with dance traces its roots to the early 1920s, when my grandmother, a Midwesterner from Minneapolis, believed she was a Hindu in a previous life. She gave herself a new incarnation as a high caste Kashmiri Brahmin and convinced New York audiences she had been taught invisible dances in secret sanctuaries by the Lamas of Tibet and India. A passion for genuine classical Indian dance took her to Kerala, where she became instrumental in introducing the then little known Kathakali to the rest of India and the world. Indrani, on advice from her mother, first specialized in Bharatanatyam and then lesser known dance forms such as Mohini Atam and Kuchpudi. She was a pioneer in the revival of Urisi and the first to present it in the US and internationally. I did not heed my grandfather's urgings and was swept into the family tradition of dance. Ragini, after a stay of 50 plus years in India, returned to New York in 1978. Coming full circle, her last appearance in New York in 1979 at the age of 85 was at a performance of our three generations of dancers. In acknowledging the standing ovation at the end by a packed audience and scores of prominent American dance figures, she announced, this concert is the climax of my life, which is drawing to a close. I'm happy to see the pure tradition safeguarded by my daughter Indrani and my granddaughter Sukanya. You know, that thing, you know, the bomb. That thing, you know, that thing, you know, the thing, you know, the bomb. 